Welcome Dragon Champions to another edition of Dragon Champions here at Gap Dragon Log Gaming. I am your host Dragon. Today we're going to bring you another video. This video is going to be shorter um, than my previous videos. Um, what I want to talk about is essentially basically kind of like a farming guide, but not really. Uh, it's about how to really kind of be competitive. I, I think that most people are probably call it a farming guide, uh, but that's not really what we're looking at here. What I what I want to point out is, you know, as, as you probably know from previous videos or if you've seen other YouTubers uh, talk about it, your ability scrolls are necessary and they, they are, there's a crunch. If you watch my last video, they're going to do something about ability scrolls, uh, you know, some type of offer, uh, that sort of thing to help us out with that. Uh, but I'm not sure what that's going to be. However, if you can see here on the screen, uh, invasion of the demons you have f these four areas at the moment for me these are the fours the four uh, nodes that I that are open to me to be able to do uh, to farm these ability scrolls I farm them every day every single one of these and I do them all the way up and so these it's very very and I'm gonna do them right now for, so you guys can see like I've used my energy for the day um, already uh, the, the first batch that I got when I woke up, uh, went ahead and did my light, you know, light side, dark side, uh, you know, order clan, uh, uh abilities on that. Um, I am farming, currently farming Ken Lee. Uh, and so that's what I did there. Um, so I went ahead and just did my Ken Lee farm. Uh, but as you can see, you know, when Ken Lee, his abilities are at three, they're not even at four. They need to be at six. Uh, I am currently focusing on Wonder Lula. Uh, you know, getting her abilities up. She's phenomenal, by the way. Um, I've only got to play a little bit with her. Um, today I'm going to do some testing with her. Uh, I'm actually, after this video, after I post this video, I am going to probably jump on and do um, a little bit of a stream uh, today. I'm going to do some tower uh, with her and test her out and see what we can see what kind of things that we can go and get but in the meantime uh, let's talk about the ability scrolls as you can see we're going to go in here we're going to farm these green ability scrolls and and this is this is imperative that you come in and you get these every day um at least for me i mean maybe it's the blue ones that you need but for me it's the green um and the blue and i do both Every day I go in and I do both, um, the green and the blue. And you may ask, well, what about farming other characters? What about farming? Um, what about farming your your regular people? Uh, well, uh, you know, trying to get to seven stars and that sort of thing. I I find this to be actually more important. Uh, in another video, I kind of mentioned it out loud. Um, what I thought was important, you know, uh, you know, stars, stars, skills, um, gear, I think it's all important, but in the beginning, if you're trying to be competitive, um, I think that you really got to, and see, now I'm out of auto battle energy for now, and I won't, I only go up to the 50, and then, so for the rest of the day, I will have to go in here and do the rest of these. Obviously, if they had an energy boost or something like that, I usually would buy that. But I don't. There's no offers currently for energy uh, at the moment, so that's where we're at. But let's show you where they are. Obviously, you may or you should know how to do this. But if you don't, that's okay. If you're new to the game, uh, you know you just click here and you hit the find button, and it'll pull them up. And uh, if you, the reason why I did all the cork rooms first. Uh, is because I have him maxed out, and that's helping my uh, farm for Hard Orc. But we can come right here and just hit the Find button, and then we have these, these four nodes. And they're a lot more expensive, uh, and I can't always get through these, but I do them as much as I possibly can. I'm currently farming Hera. All right, uh, Venomate, I just maxed out. And so a lot of these characters you can be farming, like Hera is worth farming, Venomate's definitely worth farming. Um, and so... You know, you come in and you're getting some good gear on them too. Like uh, these demonic rage fragments are really, you know, you need those. You're also getting, if you look in all of these, you're also getting runes. 
uh, and the runes are really really good especially you know this one here uh, has a potential for damage and potency depending on what character you want to put that on same thing here uh, for <clears throat> you know crit damage uh, rude mort and so you're looking it's really really beneficial to go through here uh, do I need old lore no but this is going to help me with my farm um, you know and so I, I highly encourage you to go through these every you know as much as you can every day um, refresh refresh your energy um, same kind of same here every single one of these characters is worth farming uh, <laughs> yeah if you're if you're here uh, Xantara uh, Revel uh, Mr. Lover Corel and uh, Patriarch Chi every single one of them is worth farming and so you just every day these are kind of where I'm focusing my abilities right now on these ability scrolls as you can see with the pur with purples and with blues I have plenty um, it's the green ones that I suffer every day I need more and more um, which is gonna be fine uh, usually I can get enough to get you know up to 30 ability scrolls um, but this this today I decided to use my first batch of energy to get those hard nodes out of the way um, usually I just go straight to the green scrolls and farm them up and then that'll give me an ability which is what I'm working on currently trying to get uh, you know her as you can see we have enough to raise her up one more on her basic but we're not gonna do that uh, we have enough to raise her here um, you know but we're not gonna do that either what we're looking to do is get this one here that's our goal for today uh, is to get uh, reduce this initial cooldown um, on this ability actually I'm probably not gonna do that today I'm actually probably gonna go here I want the guaranteed uh, critical um, and so obviously we need 28 plus 35 uh, you know so that's that's what we need and we're real close we only need two more and so eh, we're gonna get there that's not gonna be a problem um, you know but that's that's what we're looking at and then of course the reason why i was doing this is because i am farming hard orc um right now uh, i actually have enough to unlock him but i did what i've decided to do is try to wait until i have 140 you know 145 shards total because that's a five star unlock um and then or yeah a five star unlock and then i will unlock him and then bump him to six stars uh, and, and that's kind of what I've decided to do on him. So other other areas, you know, just kind of basic farming guides. Cura, I mean, you, you should probably be getting, saving all of your guild energy right now for Cura. Um, if, you, if, if you're looking to farm somebody, if you're at this point, you probably have your orcs. Um, farming Cura is the way to go. Uh, out, of, out of the arena store, here uh if you don't have uh you don't have salador that's the way that you'll want to you'll want to get him i believe that is his name let me show him to you yep. salvador here uh he's a great tank great pride tank really really good with hera um and that's her here really really good with hera um, her her leadership her leadership allows him to taunt first turn um, and so he, he's he's the only pre taunting tank in the game uh, and he's really really good um, there uh, like I said if you if you if you are brand new if you are brand new brand brand new to the game you should be farming your orcs uh, Mortha Mar Rantha, Corcrum, and Tromgard. Uh, you'll get those as they come. Uh, you need them for Solius, and Solius is amazing. Uh, and so you'll just, you'll want to make sure that you're working on getting him taken care of. Uh, and as you can see, I'm currently using him as his leader, as leadership, but I do not have his leadership maxed, uh, which would be super great, but I'm not, I don't think it's, I don't think it's necessary right now. Uh, like I said, I want this video to be right around 10 minutes long, uh, so we're going to be ending it here in a moment. But those those are the kind of things that I'm working on right now. Um, I'm going through making sure I'm farming my ability scrolls every day. It's more important than the star levels um, that I found. I've lost matches to people who have 
um, you know, star levels higher than me, lower than me, lower power than me, because their gear or their abilities was high, were higher. Um, so as you can see right now, I'm rank 32 on my arena shard. Um, a lot of a lot of the same stuff uh, that we've seen going on and on. Um, obviously, you know, we're looking here at. I'm gonna go ahead and fight this guy real quick for the last battle. This is my current my team. I am using Wonder Lula here in conjunction in conjunction with uh, Kiara uh, and and Solius lead. And uh, so let's go ahead and go in. I don't know how this is gonna go. Uh, this is only the second battle that I've done with this team uh, with Wonder Lula in it. And uh, just want to kind of showcase her uh, for a second and then we'll be ending. But if you have any questions or comments, uh, if you're if you're interested in, um, you know, seeing how I do things, and that sort of stuff, just leave your comments down below. Uh, and uh, let's see here what we're going to do. We're going to. I'm gonna go ahead and hit Patriot Cheese, see if I can get a count. Uh, nope. So we're gonna go right after Ken Lee. Um, we're gonna basic again. Uh, no, let's go ahead and just hit him. Run through the shields. Alright, let's go ahead and invis here. Alright, and so we are invised. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give her a cheat death because she is squishy. The one thing about Wonder Lula is she is super squishy. And, um, oh, man, he's just going to dodge and dodge. And so, there we go. Another big hit. We daze. Let's go ahead and heal. Um,. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and hit this again. Um, should give invisibility into everyone. We're gonna hit regen. Ken Lee is such a pain in the butt with his dodge mechanic. He's so bad. Uh, and we're dead. Hey, Ken Lee is just. He's, his dodge is stupid. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to beat him, but, you know, uh, we decided to go right after him, see if we could kill him. That was probably not the right thing to do. Um, obviously, he's just going to dodge, and they're going to wipe us out. Um, like I said, if you if you don't have Ken Lee, that's why I'm working on him. Um, his, his ability to dodge and just be awesome is... It's great. Well, there you go. Um, that's the end of the video. As you can see, Ken Lee's still amazing. Uh, Patriarch Chi's still amazing. Um, and so, if you have any, if you're if you're interested in anything, like I said, if you are new around here, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. And we'll see you next time when gaming and the law intersect.